Hi folks, Christy from Shark Pixel here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to remove flyaways the right way and effortlessly. So let's get started. Some of the best things in the technology that has come out in Photoshop recently is our AI technology and the content aware technology specifically. And what that means is that it can actually be written into specific tools. So the way that I am going to choose to remove flyaways today is by using the spot healing brush tool. But it's super important that you make sure that you have the proper settings applied to this tool in order for it to work properly and for it to give you the best possible results. The first thing that I wanna do is I'd like to change the hardness of this tool. So we're going to take our hardness for our brush for our spot healing brush tool from, uh, well, from whatever it is to about 40%. The next thing that I wanna point out is the mode in which the replacement is being applied and the math that's behind that. So most of you will have this tool, our spot healing brush tool set to normal. Well, for this specific example or application, Replace works much better, especially when it comes to flyaways and crosshairs. The next thing is how do you want the blending to be applied? Do you want it to look at the surrounding pixels, which would be proximity match? Do you want it to create texture given the texture that is surrounding it? Or do you want it to use the content aware technology? And that, my friends, is the most important setting that you need to have on your brush. The next thing is making sure that sample all layers is indeed checked because we're going to be doing our flyaway removal on an empty layer. So I'll go ahead and create an empty layer and we're going to call this layer flyaways. And if you stick with me till the end, I am going to give you this specific tool that we have created in today's course, but you can always create it at home as well. But if you'd rather just download it from me, you can do that too. You can also download this demo image. So now that we have our settings set for this tool, we have our empty layer, which we're going to be doing the work on. It's time now to change our brush so that it's just slightly wider and larger than the hairs that we're trying to remove. And now I can go ahead and paint on each one of those hairs that I'm trying to remove. Now, because this tool is using content aware technology to make its fix, it's going to give you extremely powerful fixes and results. And it's actually going to use its math to recreate the underlying hair. Look right here as I just did that, right here, okay? When I go over this hair, this cross hair and try and remove it, Photoshop knows to recreate the hair underneath. So you're not getting a bunch of bleed, for example, uh, when you're trying to blend colors together. That is thanks to the fact that we are blending on replace mode and not on normal mode. The other thing that is really helping us significantly is the AI technology behind content aware. That stuff is crazy town. It's super uh, exciting and it's extremely beneficial and takes a lot of the grunt work away from you as the user, which allows you to really focus on the creative and, uh, and really create fabulous results without having to do a lot of the monotonous chores that we may have um, that we're used to doing. Okay, so these settings are incredibly important when it comes to the tool. All right, so you can see that just in the 90 seconds that I've been talking, I was able to make some really good progress just in that specific area. And this is the kind of work, honestly, folks, that I could do all day long. It's very zen for me. Um, I have no idea why, but just uh, cleaning up hair like this is, is a real pleasure, especially if your tools are set to the right settings. That's the most important thing that I'm trying to drive home today. So we've got this fantastic tool 
It works beautifully to try and remove flyaways that we're trying to remove. So how do we keep this? How do we uh, make sure that we protect this tool and save it so that we do not have to go through all of the chores of actually setting all of our settings uh, in the future? What we can do is we can come to our tool dropdown up here at the top and we'll click on this little uh, carrot. And now we're gonna hit the new button, okay? At this point, let's go ahead and call this fly away hair spot heel brush. I'm gonna go ahead and accept these changes and now you can see that my custom flyaway brush is there and easily accessible anytime I need to use it in the future. Now, I am, like I said, going to include this brush with this course. You can download it at the link below. You can also download this lovely image by Paul um, so that you can work on your uh, technique for removing flyaway hairs. But I hope this has been beneficial for you. I hope you download that tool so that you can start using it and just hit the ground running when it comes to retouching hair in the future. Again, please, if you've learned something, go ahead and hit that subscribe and make sure you ring the bell so that the next time that I come out with a uh, instructional video on Photoshop or Lightroom, you can be notified, all right? So until that next course, I'll see you around.